All right, guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to change or edit the tag for a MP3 file. Editing a tag for a MP3 file basically means um, you're, you're changing the tag around so that it shows all of the categories like the title, the artist, the album, year, track, um, the, the genre, things like that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by going to start and we're going to go to this program called music range you can download this program for free just go to google all right so this right here is the um software and let's see what we're going to do is go to this little file here it says music this file here has two files in it. it has this file that has the title and the album name which as you can see is wrong um and then we have this one that doesn't have anything okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do the one that doesn't have any tag information and i'm just going to slide it like right here so we're going to take this we're going to drag it over to here. Okay, anytime you drag music uh, into Music Brains, it's going to put it in this unclustered file area here. Okay, so the first thing you can do is you can click the song and you can hit scan. Now, what it does is it's going to scan everything that Music Brain, you know, has on this file and it's going to pull it. Okay, see, you see here it's already pulled the um cover art so what we're going to do is we're going to open this so make it bigger so here it shows the name of the actual song and it tells you the length and the artist and everything now when you click on this this is the original values see it had no, the only thing it had was the name but it had it had none of this information but if you go over here it says new value now this is all of the new see title artist album it's putting everything track number length you see that date it's putting everything over here it goes down some more so now technically the song that you just put over here in the unclustered um, file area it's now on the right side so what you want to do is you want to click the song this is the song here you want to either right click it and hit save or you want to um, click it and just hit save right here now I'm going to move this over again and because what I want you to do is I want you to see the change how the change happens so we're going to go to view and we're going to go to large a little bit smaller okay so this one has some random um artwork but this is the one we're working on right so as soon as i hit save remember you have to click it save you're going to see a change oh, okay now if you do this and it doesn't change and it comes up with this red um circle what you got to do is you got to right click the file itself go down to properties and take off read only hit apply okay now click it and hit save and there you go so remember if if at any point you can't it won't save it won't put a check mark a green check mark it'll have like a red circle if it has that beside it that means that the file itself is uh locked and it's a read only file so you just right click it Go down to properties and you uncheck right here where it says read only and then you hit apply and okay so now this um mp3 right here has all the meta tag information that you need on it now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do this one too they're the same songs but this one has a different uh art cover for it it's the wrong one so we're going to click this drag it over See, sometimes you drag it over, it won't even go under unclustered files. It'll just go directly over here because it thinks that it knows, you know, 
um, the information but as we can see the information is wrong so what we're going to do is we're going to click it we're going to go down and find it this is it right here we're going to take it and drag it back over here because it's wrong okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to right click it we're going to go down see search for similar tracks okay now what we're wanting to do is we're looking for the song okay something that's similar to it and it has to make we have to make sure that it has the actual artist's name so we can look through and see if we see Miguel but we don't right so what we're gonna do is let's see we're gonna clear this out put the name of the person and the song right and then we're gonna use advanced settings and we're gonna do it again search all right so now we have uh, some of the Miguel tracks if you can see here now this is the one that came off of that you know uh, now that's uh, music right here that's 66 you can see it right here that's what I call music right here so that's not the one that we want we want the original album one so we go down to here you see this Skywalker Miguel Travis Scott you see that and let's see this is it right here now just to make sure I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load this in and as you can see right here it took it out of here because we slid it back over right so this one doesn't even matter anymore you can just you can uh, actually remove this because now that track is here it doesn't have a check mark beside it because we haven't saved it yet but this one is this and you can see here see it says original art cover see this is the new uh, cover art and this is the old information and this is the new information you see how it changed it okay so that means it's right so what we're going to do is click it one time and then hit save and you're going to see this one change there you go so now all of the information for both of these are correct now what i can do is highlight right click remove i'm going to slide both of these in here see it won't even it won't even put it in uncluster because it knows what it what it what they are see both of them both tracks and they're both right now guys, I just wanted you to see this is how you use the program Music Brains. And that is it. This is JOATD and I'm out.